Hey, here's another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Sometimes when you're TIG welding, you need to extend the electrode out a lot further than you really can get gas coverage on. So here's a trick on how to push a lot of gas a lot further than you ever thought possible. Sometimes you need to extend that electrode out to get way down inside a hole or, or in a tight uh, cluster weld or a TKY connection. And uh, this is a way of extending your electrode further than you can with any ordinary uh, gas lens even uh, style cup or any other small cup is to get this number 12 cup and uh, this one's for a small size torch body like a, uh, a size 9, 20, 24, 25 that uses a gas lens collet body. It's a number 12 which is 12 sixteenths or three quarters and um, it won't even work without that screen in there so but with with cutting a, a stainless screen and uh, poking it down in there you can you can uh, get some really good gas coverage made by C and I it's a number 12 GL for gas lens there's the part number you can rewind the video and look at it you see it's for a size 9 20 24 and 25 which are the small torch bodies that accept the small hardware and the small cups all right a good way of testing any cup to see uh, uh, just how large the argon envelope and gas coverage is is by getting a scrap piece of titanium. Now, I know a lot of you don't have access to a scrap piece of titanium. I just happen to, but it is the best way to check uh, check gas coverage because it discolors like a peacock anywhere that gets up hot but doesn't get shielded. See, I got this. I actually let that soak for a good 10 seconds. I edited the video, made it shorter, so you wouldn't have to sit there and watch it. But you can see that there is absolutely no discoloration on this piece of titanium uh, with this cup. So I got a good, probably over an inch diameter blanket of argon. Now here I'm going to extend the electrode out just a little bit further and do it again. I've got a full inch extension here. And uh, I'm running about probably 25 CFH, so it does use a little bit more argon. It's not something you want to do all the time uh, because it does use a little bit more argon, but it really does a good job. On, especially on sluggish stainless steels like 15.7, 17.7, also nickel alloys like uh, Inconel 718 that are kind of a, have a sluggish puddle. This actually helps move that puddle along at a lower amperage and uh, it just shields it better and actually makes for a hell of a good looking stainless weld a lot of times. So for stainless headers and things like that, it'd be a really good idea. So you can see here again, I've got an inch extension, no discoloration. That's with this number 12 with an added screen diffuser in there. So I'm going to show you what, I, what, what would happen at the same extension roughly with a number 7 uh, standard gas lens cup, which 7 means 7 sixteenths, and uh, same, uh, same piece of titanium. All right, just a standard number 7 with, a, with an extension like that is going to discolor this titanium uh, significantly. So you're going to be able to see, instead of a silver... Uh, nice shiny puddled area and heat affected zone you'll see the peacock colors come into play that's why titanium again is such a good test piece material for checking the shielding coming out of your cup so this would translate into a sluggish puddle um, on certain alloys it might even translate into porosity and and uh, some some other defects like that whereas the uh, larger cup wouldn't and would translate into a nice shiny weld You can also tape a piece of screen to the very end. Uh, it works as well if you don't have anything to cut it with, but that'll blow out if you arc out or get close to anything. The high frequency will bleed off that screen and blow a hole in it, but it does work good. I'm just running a small uh, short bead here on that scrap piece of titanium. Again, just to show you uh, the kind of gas coverage that you can get. It gets that electrode out away from everything too. makes it really easy to see, especially if you're welding around around things that are in the way of your cup. That electrode kind of sticks out there all by itself. There's just a little bead on titanium. You see the last inch of it is perfectly silver and the first inch just started to discolor a little straw color. So for stainless that'd be great. For titanium uh, you might want a little bit bigger cup than this but you could actually weld some even with this. You can actually use a piece of Scotch-Brite for a diffuser. I've done that. It works pretty well and uh, that is a good tip. 